Shaylee Dagwado. Hi, my name is Sarah Snyder and I'm the director of the Cherokee Language Program here at Western Carolina University. So if you are a person that's going up to greet a Cherokee speaker and you're learning to speak Cherokee, you're going to say Shio in your name. So I would say Shio Shaylee Dagwado and then you would ask them Do Dezado, what's your name? And then they would say it. Then you might ask them, Kagiyu Tzadzi, who is your mother, and, and trying to find out who their family is. And that would be the kinds of questions that people that don't know each other would ask in Cherokee to sort of find out who they are, who their family is, to give an idea of how they fit into the community. However, what's interesting is that uh, I've, I noticed if, um, that a lot of times people that know each other, uh, you might just say Shio, and then you're already familiar with each other. So um, shaking hands and stuff happens, and it's pretty formal, but it's not something that's very common. So I would, when I first came here and I was an unknown person, I would go around and nobody would introduce me and nobody would shake my hand, and but somehow people would know exactly who I was and who I came with and stuff like that. So um, it's less kind of formal, I think, once people know who you are. So one thing that's really important to know about the Cherokee language is that it's a polysynthetic language, which means many combining. And its uh, grammatical structure is completely different from English, so you have to learn a new way of thinking about how to put sentences together, where a sentence is a whole word formed on the verb. And so once you learn that, it opens up the doorway for understanding how the language works.